Alright, so hey there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. This video is a bit different because we're going to be doing some backend programming. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a simple Python backend program using which we can carry out various functions with another computer running a slave program. First of all, what you want to do is create a new directory where you're going to store these two files and name them um, appropriately server and slave. Server is where the admin is going to be running the function and slave is where the commands will be received and functions will be executed. So pretty much slave should be running on the target computer. So the different functions we're going to be having in this one is accessing files remotely, gaining access to different directories, viewing files, downloading files, removing files, removing directories, sending files to the other computer, creating directories, and also shutting down the other computer remotely. We're going to do the shutdown in the end since I've already done a tutorial on this before so I don't want to be repeating myself, but just for the sake of it I will do it in the end. This video might be split into different series just to make it short and sweet for different people since I don't want to make the video too long. So without further ado, let's begin. First of all, we want to import two of the modules which we're going to need, which are import OS and import socket. We want to do the same with the slave as well. And then what we want to do is initialize the socket like we always do. S equals socket dot socket. And then the host equals socket dot guest get host name and the port equals 8080 and then we're going to print the server address so we're just going to leave a line we're going to say server is currently running at and then the we're just simply going to pr print the host so that we know where to connect. Okay, once we're done with that, we're gonna bind the, before this, we should, we need to bind the host and port. So we're gonna do s.bind host comma port. And then we're gonna start listening. So s.listen for one connection for now. If we're doing it with multiple ones, then yeah, of course you can do multiple ones. We're also gonna print, um, waiting for any incoming connections so that we know that the server is waiting for connections and then once anyone connects the connection comma address will be initialized to the person connecting which is s dot accept okay so now that we're done with that we're going to shout out the person's ip who has connected to the server so we're going to say print address comma space has connected to the server successfully and then what we want to do next is go on to coding this program so we're going to be coding step by step do the same over here so we don't want to waste time so we're just going to copy s equals socket dot socket paste that on there copy the port and paste that on there next line obviously so what we want to do on the slave program is we want to ask the user for the um, host that he wants to connect to or he or she. So what we want to do is do host equals input string. Please enter the server address. If you guys were using this for an automatic connect, what you could do is um, port forward obviously and then uh, inbuild the IP address and assign it to the host already but I'm doing this on localhost and I want it to ask the user about the server it wants to connect back to. It wouldn't make sense but usually you would enter the IP address of the target machine here directly. For now we're just doing this. So we do s.connect host and port and then since that's done we're gonna say print connected to the server successfully yep or well, once we're done with that we leave a blank space and then we're going to move on to coding the master program again or the server program so the second phase of this program is obviously the connection has been completed so that's the first phase 